all I want to do is sleep. No dice. So, let's see what's up. Alright. It's been a weird day. So, we're going to do the L from Death Note thing. Because, why not? The world. Completing cycles. I do think this is related to our energy. The sun. I wasn't sure at first if it was somebody else or if it was me. Ugh. The world and the sun, though. I'm going to take that to mean justice. We have been battling some deep and crazy thoughts today with the Nine of Swords. There was a lot of really good parts today, but the parts where we got stuck in our head were kind of intense. So we wound up in a pretty somber place for part of the day. Four of Wands. <sighs> but we are trying to break out of that energy. Honestly, my idea was to just go to sleep. Nine of Cups. Because sometimes I feel like it's good to just go to bed early and get like 12 hours of sleep, you know what I mean? But Spirit said no, they want a reading instead. Five of Wands and Eight of Pentacles, conflict coming to a head. So somebody is completing a cycle. Fighting for some within themselves and the justice in their situation. But they've got anxiety about this um, Four of Wands wish fulfillment. And they're worried about conflict coming to a head here. There's a tower for, for somebody. Um, I mean, it could be me. I'm definitely going through some towers today. But it's not like these terrible hard towers. It's things that I've already been working on for a while. You know what I mean? Like the pets thing. Five of Swords. <sighs> There is the fact that this whole situation with this new guy I'm interested in and the Twin Flames got me a little fucked up, Eight of Wands, because all the readings are basically saying they're both coming in. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information because Temperance and the Empress and the Ace of Swords. Six of Wands? All right, we, we just pulled a bunch from the bottom. Temperance, the Empress, Ace of Swords, Six of Wands. We're seeing the truth. We're attaining victory after finding balance within ourselves. Coming into alignment. And that is why we should not be in this weird energy. We should be in great energy. But you know how it is. As soon as you're about to, like, shift... That's when things bubble up, you know what I mean? We're about to have this whole last new beginning. So it's natural that things are coming up right now to challenge us and make us grow more. Queen of Cups. Ugh, fuck me. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. And both of these guys have drawn the exact same cards Two of Wands, Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, fucking um, the Sun, Strength, you know, like all of it. All of the typical romance cards we usually get have appeared for both of these guys. Ace of Cups. It's like we're getting the exact same readings for both people. It's really weird. But I think that Spirit, just being Spirit. Ugh. Because they, like, they don't want to put me on the spot or, like, confuse me. But there may be an element of testing here. Ace of Wands. Three of Swords. Like... Are they really just out here like, how much can you take? <laughs> the Magician. 
How much can you take with patience? Any given day. King of Pentacles. After this reading, I really hope I'm allowed to go to bed. Ten of Cups. You know, our entire perspective on the Ten of Cups shifted. Like we talked about last reading, the Ten of Cups is in this present moment. And that's why even on days like this, Seven of Wands, where you are fighting for your foundation, it's okay to have those days, you know? But, like, don't get wrapped up in them. Don't get caught up in it. Don't wallow in the complicated emotions. Three of Wands. Because all you really need to do... Or if you're feeling like that is re-inspire yourself. Find something that gives you motivation. High Priestess. Nine of Wands and a Star. With the Five of Cups. Because getting wrapped up in that grief doesn't help anything. It's not going to propel you towards your goals. Feeling that anxiety because you have a big decision in love coming isn't going to stop you from having to make that decision. Six of Cups. And no amount of sitting here considering or comparing is going to help you make that decision either. Choosing yourself, Two of Cups, leads you where you're supposed to be. This we know. The Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Sun, Justice, and the World all together with a tower. The Devil and the Nine of Swords with the Five of Swords. That's anxiety, competition, and bad behavior lining up with the Nine of Wands and the Fool. We've got a lot of page energy as the explanation. We've got the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. It seems like maturity is the problem. Four of Cups and the Two of Wands, and watch, this reading isn't even going to get accepted now because saying that the Nine of Wands, whoever it is, is being immature, is probably not acceptable by spirit because it'll piss him off and make him run away. Six of Pentacles. And like a hundred other times that we've done this, somebody that is looking for a reason to bolt will always find a reason to bolt. And they can blame it on the fact that you called them immature. They can blame it on the fact that you made them feel some kind of way. They can say that it's for X or Y or, you know, like, well, if you just like blah, blah, blah. King of Cups. Pickle emotions. You can say all day that it's a me problem. But the runner will always find a way to run. If that's what they want to do. No matter what situation you're talking about. If somebody is looking for an excuse, they will find one. Bottom line. I don't even know why, like, we're doing this reading. The chariot. Because at this point... My cards have been thrown. <laughs> I've been rude to the boys. Two of Pentacles. Clearly, I've got an attitude tonight. Five of Pentacles, and I'm feeling a little lonely and blech. Wheel of Fortune. I think I'm cranky. Maybe this one was more about venting than anything. Being allowed to feel our feelings. Because they didn't do anything to me. Uh, this new guy hasn't done anything bad to me. I have no reason to be calling him immature for any reason. I don't think that's for him. And the twin I haven't talked to or seen in six months. And from everything I've seen in the cards, he's done nothing but grow. I think this is just me having an, having an attitude. Five of Pentacles. It's okay to feel a little lonely and have an attitude. But let's not.